Okay, I call this the Impasa truss because it's one of those holes that's very difficult for me to get an albatross on. What you have to do here is use your club with a lot of curve to it, pull back on it and put the full curve on it, bring it over here. There's a little spot that you've got to find and it's very difficult. You'll have to look around. You see that rock right there? It's right behind that rock. Um, that's one way to mark it. And once you find it, then you've actually got to, what, however much wind you've got there, you've got to make up for that wind by moving the the pointer a little bit and that's the most difficult thing is to get it right on that spot with the correct amount of wind compensation once you do you hit and it will shoot over there much closer to the hole uh, making it so that you can actually get an albatross as I said there's uh, two different ways that I know to do this hole get an albatross on this hole this is the, actually the easier of the two I think um, and as you're about to see, while there's really no excuse for it, I actually did not get an albatross this time because I got overly excited here and I missed this easy shot, relatively easy shot, but there's really no excuse for why I missed it and I shouldn't have. And uh, you could, as you can see very plainly, I could have made it, I should have made it, and you can make it if you get, if you get that first shot correct. And uh, so that's how you do this, this whole it's tricky um, you just probably take you a little bit of practice uh, you can watch my video again and try to see where that little spot is and um, once you find it and you know then hopefully you'll be able to get get it and I'll also show the other way okay and as promised this is the second way that I know of there's probably more I'm sure to get an albatross on this hole and it's even trickier than the first way in my opinion um, basically you want to get the ball out as far as you can onto the green that I'm aiming at there that you see right there now and once you do um, there's really nowhere to go with it from there other than you have to use a, a, a kangaroo ball or some kind of a um, elasticity ball high elasticity ball and shoot at the hole from way back here and hope that you can get that elasticity ball to bounce and go in the hole it's doable I've done it before um, as you're actually gonna see I didn't actually even manage to do it on this particular attempt but um, I nonetheless got it fairly close and uh, it's adequate to show you um, how it could conceivably be conceivably be done and uh, I've only made it a couple times ever really I didn't record those ones, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, again, you're going to use a high elasticity ball and do your best to try to aim it and bounce it into the hole. Um, this can get you close. If, if all you need is to get close, if there's nobody else getting an albatross or getting close, um, this, this one might be easier just to get you close than the previous method that I mentioned or in this video. And uh, at least maybe get you adequate so that you can win the, win the hole further, even if not get a full albatross. Okay.